My name is Alisa McCall and I'm with Polar Bears International and today I am talking to polar bear scientists. Do you mind introducing yourself to everybody? Yeah. Hi, my name is Tia Beckschaft and I'm a postdoc here at the DeRoche Lab at the University of Alberta. So you are very knowledgeable in all sorts of things, uh, but what I would <laughs> like you. to talk to you about right now is pollution. Mm -hmm. So most people are aware that climate change is impacting polar bears. Uh, but we don't hear pollution talked about as much uh, and its impacts on polar yeah. bears. Could you talk a bit about how pollution is impacting them and why it's important for us to know? Well, first of all, most polar bears live very far from where pollution is emitted. But once the pollutants are emitted and released into either uh, water or into the air, they're transported up north and then they accumulate in the food chain. A lot of these contaminants do. and at the end of the food chain or at the top of the food chain we have the polar bear so effectively all the contaminants that we emit on an everyday basis are transported to the high arctic and then concentrated in the polar bear so why are pollutants a problem for polar bears well the problem is that a lot of the contaminants that end up in the polar bears they mimic the body's own natural hormones so that the body won't necessarily be able to tell the difference between a contaminant molecule, if you will, right. and, and a, um, a, a natural hormone molecule. And then the body gets confused and that can have all sorts of detrimental uh, effects to the health of the polar bear. What sorts of effects might we expect to see in a polar bear that has a high pollutant load? Well, mostly we see diseases. Um, most of it, you can't tell usually just right, from just looking from at the bear whether it has a high contaminant load or a low contaminant load. Uh, you actually need to look inside the bear, so you need to look at the different organs, uh, look at the brain, look at the reproductive organs, look at the liver and the kidney, and then you can look for tissue damage and you can look for different diseases. And maybe we should note that this isn't just your average field study. We don't go out and dart no. polar bears to look at their no. organs. These are bears that are already deceased and we're then able to go in yes. and look and learn a lot more. Yeah. What other impacts can pollution have on polar bears? Overall, it can have an effect on their ability to handle change. So all the changes that we're seeing for the polar bears that, ha that are happening with the climate change, they may be less well equipped to handle those. And also, obviously, because we're talking hormonal uh, confusion here, right. it can have an effect on the reproduction. So polar bears may be able to have fewer cubs. So this really is an important field of study for polar bears. It is. Thanks for talking to us today about pollutants and their impacts. If you guys have questions about pollution or impacts on polar bears, please send us your questions at questions at pbears.org and I will pass your question on and maybe we'll even do a follow-up video if you have certain things you want to ask. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And thanks everybody for watching.